Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add ultra wide support. So 21 by 9 support to Final Fantasy 16. So it's pretty easy. Normally we would be using flawless widescreen, but they haven't added Final Fantasy 16 yet. Though I'll leave it linked in the description because they probably will. It's easier than the method we're going to use now, but this method also has some extra added benefits. So the first thing you'll need to do is head on over to the Nexus mods page, search Final Fantasy 16. Then go to popular all time and search for this mod here. So FFX V1 fix. So Final Fantasy 16 fix. Just click on it. It'll open the new tab and you'll have two different options here. So you can use the automatic uh, vortex option, which will allow you to use the mod manager. It's really easy to use. You just download it, basically click download the mod and it will apply it. Simple as that. There's also a lot of other good mods here. As you can see, I'm using a couple. Or you can opt to use the manual option, which is just simply do it yourself. So all you have to do is scroll down and see the installation options. Once you have the file, just extract it into the Final Fantasy Steam folder and it's done. Personally, I find using the Vortex Mod Manager easier. You can just see what's going on. It knows how to organize boot orders and stuff for more complex mods. So as well as enabling ultra wide support, this mod actually does quite a few other things. So you can see the list here. There's some field of view changes, some screenshot stuff. You can use motion blur, what frame generation as well. You can get rid of the depth of field, enable background audio and lock the cruise, uh, cursor to the game window, which is pretty handy as well. So there's also some performance things here with cutscenes frame generation and cutscenes and some graphics debugger checks. Pretty standard stuff, stuff that should be in the game in the first place, but it isn't, so that's pretty much it. Oh, and I also want to mention here that there's actually some stuff for Steam Deck. You might want to check that out as well if you have a Steam Deck. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this guide. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.